Hey guys, I just started working with the Latitude 7275s and I ran into uh, quite a weird problem with these units where when you put it to sleep and you turn it back on, it will all of a sudden start showing the date being a few days ahead. So uh, let's say today's February 10th, um, in a couple of hours when you turn it back on again from sleep mode, it shows that it's like February 15th. When you start working on your, your tablet, you're not paying attention and you start sending out emails and it's all coming out with the wrong times, affecting how your meetings are being placed into your Outlook or whatever client you're using. What was suggested by Dell was for me to reseed the CMOS battery in order for it to start syncing up again. That's what today's video is about, is gonna show you how to open up the Latitude 7275s, reseed the CMOS battery, and put it back together again. So I hope you enjoy. So the first thing that's gonna to need to be done is to take off the four bottom screws off the bottom of the 7275. So I used a T5 screwdriver. Um, I will say that the T4 will fit a bit better when taking out these screws. So I would suggest using the T4 um, as it's a better grip. It's not too big, it fits perfectly. Once you, once you got that screwdriver, just start taking out each screw. Make sure you put them aside, maybe in a container so you don't lose the screws. It's very important that you don't lose the screws. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to put this thing back together securely. Next, I'm gonna be using a guitar pick, and this can be found in most iPhone repair kits to pry off the screen, and it's the perfect application for this. Uh, so you'll obviously go find a weak spot in the perimeter of the tablet, and you just kind of put it in there and you squeeze it through, and you just keep on pressing through until the clips pop right out. I will suggest that you don't be overly aggressive when prying through the perimeter just because when I was doing one of these tablets I did have a clip that broke on me and obviously you want to avoid any chance of anything breaking so just um, be a bit mindful of the pressure that you're putting you don't want to break any clips. You will find as you're going through trying to go around the perimeter here and pry off the screen from the back of the tablet that you'll end up squeezing it and closing it back up again. So I suggest maybe using something to keep it from closing up on you. This was obviously another tool I got from the iPhone repair kit and this served its purpose. It kept this, the case from closing in back onto the clips again. Okay, so here we are. The laptop is fully open now. Um, just be careful when you're opening it up. You don't want to yank the screen from the board. Um, here you'll see the battery over to the left. Uh, there's the hard drive right here um, that says Micron. The wireless card is just over here where you see the white cable going into. Next, we'll remove the battery here.
When removing the battery, make sure to disconnect the cable here. Um, you just have to press up on it very slowly. Don't yank on it. You don't want to break any cables here. So now time to remove the CMOS battery. Just pull this little cable here. You could flip up the little black cap there if you want, but you could just pull. It causes no harm, it'll come up on its own. Next I'll use the guitar pick to help me pry it out just because I have no nails and no way of pulling this thing out on my own. So I am going to use a guitar pick to lift this up here. And that's it. That's how you remove the CMOS battery. And now I'll just go through putting the laptop back together again. Yeah, so that concludes the video. Um, it was a very straightforward process. Um, having the tools obviously is gonna help you a lot. So uh, you may wanna just buy like maybe an iPhone repair kit as long as it includes a T4 or T5. Um, so you can take out the screws from the bottom. Uh, guitar pick is very handy, but you can use a credit card if you have a credit card lying around and you don't mind destroying it up or if you have a collector's card, you can use that to help pry it up as well. Um, I've done that in the past with some ultra books out there. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, share if you can, and be sure to click on the little bell thingy at the very top so you know when a new video has been released by me. And I will see you on the next one.